in the 70s, applied mathematicians doing heavy global machine intelligence were only used really by the government guys. But then you need machine intelligences to look at hundreds of millions of transactions a day. Visa was really the first in that space. My name is Patrick Faith. I'm an applied mathematician and researcher at Visa. I would say half the people in the United States use my algorithms without really knowing it. So anytime someone swipes a card, we're trying to make determinations and assist our partners in making determinations on how to help best help that person on that transaction. So you could blame me for when your card's declined. I grew up in Silicon Valley while the Silicon Valley was just forming. My dad was one of the early uh, physicists at Fairchild. And um, it was kind of a crazy time because that's, you know, I saw the first uh, CPU, I saw how the first RAM was made. I, I think how the, uh, seeing all those kind of people do great things, it just said, well, why not do different things? I think as part of my personality, it's just people get used to that I'm not going to fit into a box. And I think one of the, the nice things I found at Visa, the reason why I've been at, here 20 years, is they allow me to move out of that box. I've been in almost every organization at Visa. Realistically, as long as I make the CIO happy with the math, I'm good. How I think about mathematics is most things that happen in the world are good. To find that bad, we have to do about a thousand mathematical operations on every transaction to determine that very small percentage of fraud. It'd be like being at a very crowded restaurant where everyone's talking and you're just trying to hear you know, some baby crying in the far corner. I think the most exciting thing is the integration of art to mathematics. Well, basically, the paintings are attentional spaces, and so um, the paintings are, are pure math. So this would be a plan for some math program. But it's so abstract that no one really gets it. Philosophy on life. Tricky one. <laughs> um, my major philosophy is uh, the, whenever you're observing something, you're creating something. And whenever someone is creating something, someone else is observing it. So there's this continuous interaction between observers and creators. And uh, that's basically how I do my art, my management style, everything.